It's time for round four. This round will determine our winner, the expert of experts. And it's anybody's game because you can wager any or all of your money. Alex, you've been given two categories, 1992 and third parties. You've had a bit of time to think about it. And in 1992, you bet $1. Here's your question. Who came second in the 1992 New Hampshire primary the night Bill Clinton famously dubbed himself the Comeback Kid? Ten seconds. All right. Who came in second in the 92 New Hampshire primary the night Bill Clinton famously dubbed himself the Comeback Kid? Five seconds. Tom Wilson, I don't know. Uh, second place was Bill Clinton. <laughs> you lose a dollar. I see, I see what you did there. Good. <laughs> All right, Drew, you are next. Uh, you're being given two categories. Your two, categor your two categories are episode titles and rough rhinos. In rough rhinos, you have also bet one dollar. I don't know their names or who they are. They like appear in two episodes, and this isn't going that well. We don't need it. Here's your question. <laughs> Name three of the five methods of attack used by the five members of the Rough Rhinos mercenary group. So, um, chain with the spiky ball mace. <laughs> or, um, I think one guy might be an archer, so like archery, and doesn't another guy have like really long hooked swords? <laughs> I, th I think they probably have some like Chinese name I'm not going to attempt to butcher or remember. Uh, I, I, I don't think that's specific enough. Uh, I think you're looking for Guan Dao. Oh. Um, uh, Chain was right, and we'll accept bow and flaming arrows. The other ones were Guan Dao, explosives, and firebending. I can't believe there's something about this you don't know. What's the guy? He just firebends. What's his special weapon? I, I, Sorry, if you could firebend, we would call that a special weapon. <laughs> we, would, we would be standing a lot further away from you right now. <laughs> All right, Lori. Yes. You, uh, you, your two categories are place names and unique. And in place names, you bet seventeen dollars. See, that's what bravery's like, fellas. One dollar, one dollar, seventeen dollars. So for $17, here's your question. In what sanitarium is Dr. Julia Hoffman a specialist in, conveniently for the other characters, psychology and rare blood disorders? <laughs> in what sanitarium is Dr. Julia Hoffman a specialist in, conveniently for the other characters, psychology and rare blood disorders? Your answer? All right. Wind Cliff. Oh. Okay, second time through. Uh, Alex, your other category was third parties. You bet $9. Here's your question. James Weaver and Benjamin Franklin Butler ran in back-to-back -back 19th century elections as candidates of what party? Populist. It's the Greenback Party. <laughs> Weaver, there you go. So, Lori? In your second category, Angelique, you bet $18. Here's your question. What supernatural object does Angelique use to torment Jeb Hawks, blaming him for ruining her marriage to Sky Rumson? You have 10 seconds. What do you think? One more time. What supernatural object does Angelique use to torment Jeb Hawks, blaming him for ruining her marriage to Sky Rumson? This is for everything. What do you got? Um, we need an answer, Lori. I know. I need one too. Uh, <laughs> I can almost see it in front of me. We need it right now. Um, a voodoo doll. A shadow. <laughs> Drew, you have the last question in this round. Your your episode titles. Uh, Sorry, your category, episode titles, you put $37 down on all of this. You bet the farm. I, I thought, yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your question. What are the subtitles of part one and part two of the winter solstice episodes? 
The Winter Solstice, part one is the spirit world, and part two is Avatar Roku. <laughs> you, you say that like you think you got it right. I, I, you I, did get it right. That is correct. <laughs> spirit world and Avatar Roku is right. 37 points. That is the end of the game. I believe, Drew, you have won, and you are the expert of experts for now and for all time. This time next week, we will all be wearing that. <laughs> all right? Click one more time, and uh, the uh, hardest question in the world is next. <laughs>